hello there YouTube and welcome to a 57 degree Friday June the 3rd of 2022 woke up to rain this morning it's not raining now it looks like there's a very slight oh yeah I can see it very slight mist I think it's supposed to do that today gotta keep everything all nice and green out here for a while holy moly I love the green. Oh, there's the rain. She's back for sure now. Man, hope for uh, safe travels back and forth to work. And uh, let's get that done. Well, Mama, it wasn't quite so pretty coming to work today. Nope. But it had a very peaceful feeling to it. It did. The whole way. It was just like this calming sense. It was nice. Yeah. Well, Mama, we made it to Friday. We did it, Dad. Let's go in there and get our Friday a rolling and start a weekend. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a heck of a plan to me. Yes. All right. Love you. See you. Bye. I love you. <laughs> bye bye now. Bye. So remember yesterday I was talking about that 2010 RT, the Star Spangled Banner <laughs> bike. Um, I get it up here and all of a sudden. We got darkness. That one's meant that each one of these has three bulbs in it. That one's missing one. That one's missing one. And this one is completely out as well. I knew it wasn't just my feeble old eyes playing tricks on me. This thing's getting dark. That's a black hole. The camera's actually cheating and making it look like it's a whole lot more light here than what there is. But anyway, diving in. Gonna do water pump. ACS pump, which you can see right yonder, and um, that's a whole whole slew of things. I forget what all oh, brake brake fluid flush. This is one that came in had like no brakes, goes all all the way down. So anyway, darkness. So with the new ACS pump, check valves and stuff, all the stuff for the water pump. There is the water pump. The new updated. If you're not putting that gray oil seal in there, stop. Because it's going to leak again. I think the original one was a black one. And he came out with a red one. I think there might have been a green one at one point. Once they went to that gray oil seal, all this crazy leaking stopped. Right up in the front up here is where the weep hole is for the... Um, the water pump's right underneath there. The water pump is in the cover, but it's driven by the, uh, I think it's the oil pump. I forget which gear it is. There's a, yeah, there's a gear inside there. Actually, I think it's just running off the primary gear off the end of the crankshaft. The uh, water pump internal gear is like this yellow plastic. It's not in, under any kind of load. But where the problem's happening is that seal is failing because the shaft goes into the engine and it's in the, the oil bath as it's rolling around through there. When that seal fails, it comes inside and weeps out the same weep hole it would leak from if the coolant part of the water pump was failing. I've probably seen maybe a half a dozen over, good Lord, probably hundreds of these things we put in that um, was leaking coolant. It's almost strictly oil. And once you put that, silver gray colored uh, oil seal in there they don't ever they don't ever come back i've seen them come in where they were leaking really really bad and somebody had put a uh, water pump in one and put the seal in backwards yeah that doesn't work but that's why you get that oozing weep it's all over the ground it just makes a huge mess anyway you know the i Daily, you're supposed to, you know, the easiest thing is to take that lateral support out, but then you're taking the tub off. And I just found I use a, an old, you know, connecting rod holding thing for putting uh, cylinders back on. It's an old Honda tool. I think I showed you for something else I was using that on. But um, that brings us up enough that the radiator clears its mount. You can see how the mount's no longer lining up because it's lifting that lateral support. And then um, you just walk the cover out. There's enough room. Knock your evap bottle. You can see there's a 
zip tie. It kind of key locks in there and then the zip tie keeps it from moving. And uh, lift that out of the way and get all the screws and pull the cover. The cover comes out and you got to twist her a certain way and finish it off, but it all works. I've done so many of these things that, um, yeah, it's kind of like you do it in your sleep now. But uh, there's now, slowly but surely, you're not seeing them anymore. Most of these things are long gone by now. But anyway, back at her. Thought I'd just chit chat with you for half a second. I figured I ain't been talking to the peeps today. I've been busy messing around with stuff. And that ACS pump, BRP says it takes about half an hour to put that thing in there. Um, yeah, they must have used a flat rate. They must have had one for something else because uh, you gotta take the whole rear trunk out. You can't get, there's a, a plastic, here's the edge of the plate. You just can't get it out of there. And it pinches around and the, the bolts that clamp it and hold it to the frame are down in that plastic. You just have no access to them at all. It's just one of those things, no big deal. You guys remember the old fuse boxes? And the old spiders? Good Lord, they use them things in the coon's age. <laughs> been a while here's you had LEDs some I had LEDs and he's gone through and cut everything out and uh, you can see where there's one running along the bottom of the frame and you can see that the tape where it was and these things if you bottom out that frame belly slams the ground <laughs> and uh, anything you have on there such as LEDs immediately gets um dismissed look at all that grunge in there it's funny how when oil leaks somewhere the wind blows it around and it just gets all over everything look at it all the way up in there of course you can have that look too if your valve covers are leaking the valve cover gaskets but um anyway get back at her here y'all quit tying me up here <laughs> oh perfect perfect timing you know when i talk about these old ones weren't smart enough to stop <laughs> the newer ones do but if your cable became detached like up in here because you don't have it adjusted correctly cable will pop off and when it does the motor freaks out and it goes too far and when it comes around and touches this that's when it backs off or yeah is it on now so it's pulled yeah, when it's off, this comes along and touches that little switch. Well, if the thing cable comes off, it turns too far, and then this one goes just past that, and then when you hit the button again, it spins, takes that switch and just rips it to pieces. And then you have a permanently, uh, your your brake is, in, is applied for the park brake. Kind of simple but you just need to keep things into an adjustment and i can tell by the sound of this thing when i activated it i know this one's all squatted down the airbag has no air in it because the the pump is is bad but uh yeah that's way too far usually them things will lock up right around in there and you can hear it because you hear the motor going <laughs> the motor travels too far that's when you know this is the old style with the with the old pulleys on them. Yeah, she's traveling way too far. Yeah, we'll get that all adjusted. Ooh, we caught a pusher. Oh look, he's right at the edge. When you guys were commented about the uh, Amtrak yesterday, I said nothing like catching a train on the way to work. And they go more like the train caught you. Yep. That old Amtrak, she was flat moving. The old grain hoppers, boy, there are a lot of those around here. I'm only out here a few minutes, and here comes Danny Magoo, burying himself under the back of the car. He used to do that with the, uh, um, F or almost said FJ Cruiser. Danny wasn't born then. But uh, anyway, the ridge line. You guys remember when the nice folks at BRP sent me, that's actually very black. 
Well, that's very black as well. Anyway, white balance issues. This is that Can-Am on-road apparel. This is the Can-Am uh, bomber jacket. I think they even call it. Yeah, it's not saying it. Well, if you look up the, the part number, it is what they refer to as their bomber jacket. This is what went down the Sea to Sky Highway draped across me. Kelly had um, a jacket that they had there. Because you guys remember um, they're asking what what size Kelly wears and I told him this, I thought this jacket was a little bit um, a little bit loose on me. It's a 2XL. So he was rushing um, overnight a jack, another one of these an extra large um, I, I'm kind of, I'm 50, 50, depending on the, the company and, and it's fit, whether I'm extra large or, um, two XL with a jacket, most shirts, t-shirts and stuff like that. I usually get, um, extra large, my shape and my size. I like it, the shirt to be a little loose, you know, and the old pot belly gets in the way the, the tank bag that, um, is magically there when you're riding sport bikes nowadays, you know, <laughs> your arms get shorter. But anyway, so when asked, you know, and just to be safe, 2XL, you know, that way I know it's not going to be too tight because too tight's worse than, than loose for sure. So anyway, I, I thought this was a little large. So he overnighted an extra large of this bomber jacket. And um, I didn't know. I thought they were going to send the same thing for Kelly, but he, they sent her a, um, it's called the cruise jacket, which is part of the Can-Am on-road apparel as well. And, um, <clears throat> I guess that was released last year, year before, somewhere around there. Anyway, it looks really good on Kelly. In fact, here's a, today, um, one of the cashiers took a picture of, of Kelly and I together. And this is what I sent to, um, my guy in Can-Am to let him know I, I got the jacket and everything. So here's that photo. Anyway. Asked him, what do you want to do with this 2XL? And he goes, you know, you just keep it. And I said, well, what about doing some kind of a drawing or a giveaway or something to that effect? And he thought that would be a great idea. So what do you guys think about doing? So I don't know how we're going to do it or what we're going to do. But um, kind of going into the wrong time of year for a jacket anyway. But um, anyway, what would you think? Of doing some kind of drawing or some kind of a giveaway some way or another of this 2XL Can-Am bomber jacket. It's actually really nice. It was very comfortable. It was really nice to have this jacket on when uh, it got after dark and we're out there riding the beautiful Sea to Sky Highway there in, in uh, Canada. It's got uh, pit vents, which you guys... If anything like me, pit vents are the best thing ever invented on a jacket because I randomly just get hot and that makes all the difference in the world. And it's got that soft um, shells that are really soft until they're impacted. I forget the name of them. Has it in the shoulder, has it in the elbows, and I don't think there's anything in the back. So it does have, and I don't know how you would hold it, but it appears to be a, um, a zip-in area for maybe a back brace but it doesn't seem wide enough I don't know and it doesn't I don't know it appears to be for a back brace but it seems like the cavity is open inside there I didn't reach it maybe there's something that holds it in place or something but that's what I'm assuming that zipper hole is um, zip up side pockets they're, uh, they're nice and warm when you're standing there waiting for the next ride or whatever. You stick your hands in there. It's nice and cozy. And the, these are the gloves I wore when I was there. Um, and they're, they're kind of vented. So uh, grip heaters and hands in pocket when you're sitting still was the name of the game. Very comfortable gloves, though. Extremely comfortable. We put some miles on those things. But uh, anyway, I thought I'd throw that idea of doing some kind of a giveaway with this uh, bomber jacket. It's super nice. And uh, quality is typical 
BRP clothing is super high quality. All the manufacturers do really good jobs with their apparel. Um, so anyway, I thought I'd toss that out at you and see what you think. Let me know in the comments below. Super nice jacket, especially if you're riding anything Can-Am, it'd be extra nice. And then you'll know that it went down the Sea to Sky Highway. <laughs> There's a quick shot of it hanging there. And it's got that typical bomber feel to it. So, you know, it's kind of kind of puffy. And I think that's probably why I'm weirding out about the size of it or something. Because it feels maybe a little bit too puffy for me. But, yeah, very comfortable. Very warm. I know we're coming in summertime, but still, really cool jacket. Well, hello there, YouTube. Well, it's pouring down rain out there. I was out here forever. So Kelly come out here to check on me. I says, well, why don't we just do a goodbye out here since it's raining and it's windy. So the mics would be all weirded out. I said, well, why don't we just do it with the bomber jacket in the background? <laughs> Sounds good to me. But anyway, it was a good day at work. Um, my house... I must have been busy because I can't even hardly think of what all I've done. Oh, I know. I hardly saw you. So. Yeah. So, anyway, I got this started on that. That's actually for Monday's schedule, but I got ahead, so I started on pulling that spider part, which I talked to you guys about. But anyway, it is Friday. Yes. It's time to relax. Whatever the week brought, it's over. Strange yeah. week. Very strange week. Yeah. Had a holiday on Monday and then off on Wednesday and then we're back and trying to figure out what day of the week it is the last two days and I know it's yeah. been crazy. Yeah, and then week before we're up in Canada and all that's still swirling in my head and I everything. Know, so, that was so much fun. Oh man, yeah. That was way cool. It was. But I think with that, we're gonna let y'all go and we're gonna start a weekend. Alrighty, well thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Saturday or Sunday. Thank you. All right. All right. We'll see you tomorrow. We'll see you again. Bye-bye <laughs> now. Bye. -bye. Mm -bye.